Here are five ways you can get absolutely terrible LiDAR data. And I'm going to show you how to fix each one of them. You're going to learn all this and more. Let's go. One, aggressive cornering. When you're flying, you want to be gentle and not make any abrupt movements. These abrupt corners and quick turns and twists really makes the data quality go down. You can see here, I flew this mission back and forth manually a bunch, and you can look at what it does to the data on these corners. So whenever you do this, what we want to do is long straight lines and not have a bunch of aggressive corners that's going to make that data spray up into the air. Two, aggressive descending or ascending. When you go straight up and straight down, this is going to cause terrible data quality. And this is because the GPS struggles to resolve that vertical position whenever you have rapid movements up and rapid movements down. So it's best to try keeping your motion smooth, increasing slowly up and slowly down. Number three, and that's removing all of those aggressive corners and aggressive up and down from your takeoff, landing, and the corners of your data set in post-processing. Cutting out that data is best just to remove all the crap data and leave you only with that good data left behind. I am invincible! Number four, and that's your choice of your mission plan. You can actually choose to plan your mission such that all of these don't even occur in your data set. So if you have a long, narrow corridor, you should be flying long, narrow flight plans down and back and not going short back, forth, back, forth, back, forth, back, forth, because that's going to put all those corners as well as all the other bad data right in the core of your data set. So mission planning is critical to getting good data sets. And number five, it's calibrating your camera and a very simple one. Don't turn off the colorization features in your desktop software. If you turn this off, the data set looks bad like this, but if you leave it on, it looks beautiful and great like this. And that's five ways that you can screw up your data set and how to improve it. I'll catch you guys on the next one. All right, one more thing before you go. This is a message to all the creatives, the innovators out there in this community watching this video right now. If you're as passionate about drone LiDAR, SLAM, data processing, and all the connective tissue of support that we offer and I try providing these videos, we want you to join our team. We're assimilating the best team of the most passionate expertise people out there to join us on a mission to create the best 3D mapping LiDAR technology in the world. So if you think that's you, if you love this content, if you are dedicated and experienced, then reach out to us, join our team. You can always reach us at jobs at rockerbot.com. All right, I'll see you on the next one.